burned out, wiped out, and worn out at work? According to a Microsoft poll, 41% of the global workforce are considering a job change within the next year. I just think that we need to recognize that people are really overworked right now and they're exhausted. Jennifer Moss wrote the book, The Burnout Epidemic. She has suggestions that could help beat back that running on empty feeling. First, better manage your email. What we need to do is put on our out of office in the day when we need heads down time. Create an automatic email reply, letting people know you're temporarily out of pocket. So someone would get a response from you saying, I'm just heads down on a project for a couple hours. I will be answering my emails at this time frame. We need to be really good at setting boundaries and managers need to do this too, where there's right to disconnect at certain times of night. Also, your coworkers appreciate better communication through emails. What you want from people. What is the deadline? What is the expectation? If it isn't urgent, then say it's not urgent. Next, better manage meeting fatigue. Jennifer points to this scene from the TV show, The Office. Where Steve Carell is like driving into the lake because his GPS is telling him to, so he does. Make a right turn. Wait, 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 no, 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 no. It means bear right. No, Up there. it said right. I feel like that's kind of the way we are with our meetings. It says it's an hour. Oh, well, we have to use all the way to the hour just because the technology is telling us to. Hey, no, it's not there. There's no one here. We should get better at saying it's not necessary. Let's give people's time back. Also schedule people to pop in and out of meetings. If you're hosting a meeting that you have set agenda that brings people in when they're needed and lets them leave when they're not. Finally, make your desk more work friendly, especially if your workplace is into hotel desking. Hotel desking is basically you don't have your own desk. Jennifer says even if you share a desk, bring in items to set around you as you work and they will boost your mood. Create an environment where you're looking at something kind of around you that gives you joy, that makes you feel relaxed. You know, even if it's quotes or sayings or pictures of our family, it can prime us to feel the spike in healthy hormones in the middle of a day that might feel draggy. It can help us be more productive. Better manage your emails, your meetings, and spruce up your desk. Strategies to help you fall back in love with your job.